So I, when I recorded this video, um, my credit score wasn't 806 yet. So at this point it was 798 and I'll talk about this later. Hello, welcome to my YouTube. My name is Nina. You can call me Nina Dream. Follow me on Instagram, Nina Dream as well. So what I wanted to touch base on today was how I got my FICO score up to 798. That's right, 798. So when 2022 um, began, I had a lot of goals set for this year, things I wanted to accomplish. And one of them was to reach 800 credit score. Um, and I'm already at 798. I hit 798 in June. Uh, I know I'm doing this video this August, but yeah, I hit it in June, which is the FICO score actually. I don't know, I'm not a credit guru. I cannot tell you about credit like that. I'm just giving you my experience on how I got my FICO score to 798. Um, I heard that they look at FICO more so. I think that's like a mixture of three different credit something, maybe bureaus, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I got my FICO score to 798. Prior to that, my FICO was probably like, in the low 700 so here's a brief overview on april 7th my fico score was 708 um i forgot what made me check this but this was through experian then i was trying to purchase a place and so they checked my fico and it was 748 this was april 24th and july no june 21st my fico was 798 and then recently um after i recorded this video my score was 806 this was july 26 so yeah this is the timeline so as you all know or maybe you don't know i was in a physical therapy program which means i took out a lot of loans and i wasn't working for about two and a half years which means i didn't really have much income so what i was doing was i was putting a lot of stuff on my credit cards However, when I would get my refund check from school, I pay off my credit cards. And what I noticed was I'll be out of money very quick and I had to start pulling again from my credit cards. So what I decided to do was hold off on paying all like off all of my credit cards. So what I do, I just pay like the minimum payments each month. And I noticed that not to do that. However, in my in my position, I just found that that was the best so um because at the end of the day i was still having to pay interest and all this extra stuff so it's just like what's the point of paying off these credit cards and i'm not able to keep up um i'm sorry i'm not able to i'm, I'm gonna have to dip in it again because i'm running out of money so once i started working which was last august so august of 2021 i started working um i noticed that my credit score was dropping still and I'm like, why is my credit score going down? So I said, you know what? Since I want to purchase a home, I need to focus on increasing my credit score. So certain things that I did, number one being, is I made sure to report my new income. I reported my new income to all of my credit, uh, well, I wouldn't say all of my credit card companies. I would say a lot of them was reaching out like, you know, how much do you make now? So then I would be like, hey, I'm making this amount. Um, so I did that. In addition to that, I made sure I paid off my entire balance. So let's say your statement balance is like $700. Instead of making a minimum payment or half of that, you want to make sure that you pay off the entire statement balance. When you pay off the entire statement balance, your credit score is going to start increasing because they're seeing that you're, um, making payments on time. Um, your what's that called your uh, debt debt to credit whatever that, like your credit line um, versus like your debt ratio is gonna look better as well so I believe they like to have a low um, credit usage so I try to keep, I think at that time mine was like at 16 percent so which really wasn't that bad but I think they like to keep it even lower than that so I make sure to, like I said, I make sure to pay it all off. And honestly, when you pay it all off, a lot of the credit card companies are going to increase your line of credit without you even asking. And when they increase your line of credit, that's going to improve your credit limit. So let's say 
your current credit limit is ten thousand dollars right and when you add up all your credit card usage let's say it's six thousand dollars you owe six thousand dollars in credit card so that's already 60 percent usage but if your line of credit increases to like let's say twenty thousand now it doesn't look so bad as i mean well it's still bad i think i gave you a horrible scenario as far as credit usage um but um yeah if if if, if the more credit the more line of credit that you have it's it's gonna decrease your uh credit usage to credit limit ratio if that makes sense so that helped with my credit another thing is get an off get someone to add you as an authorized user so my first credit card ever was when i turned 19 no i was 20. i had a city bank card most people were only able to get like three hundred dollars because they was you know we were young starting off my first credit card i got two thousand dollars you want to know why because my father unbeknownst to me had me as an authorized user on one of his discover cards and i think that really helped me a lot because i already had credit by the time i entered into my college years later on down the line somebody else added me as an authorized user which also helped my case um a lot of people like to stick just one credit card and if you are just if you don't have any self-control that's cool but once you gain that self-control it is okay to take out as many cards as you want this has worked for me i don't know about anybody else but like when i had um when i was in my physical therapy program i never get braces how i did that was i took out a care credit card a care credit card gave me like I think three thousand or thirty five hundred dollars. I can't no it was three it was three thousand. My braces was five thousand. So I put three thousand on the care credit and I paid off um the rest on my own or whatever. So credit care credit allows you to make payments without interest, I believe up to eighteen months. It was either twelve or eighteen months, I can't remember. But I was able to pay that off um and then in addition to that, like I said, I have other cards. So Chase, Citibank, I got a little Ota card that I really use. I had an old Navy one. I got, um, I got two Capital Ones. Look, I got different credit cards. My whole thing is once I get paid, I go through all of them to see which ones I do. I pay off the statement. So I just keep really good track of my credit cards and making sure that I'm on top of paying all of them out. Um, another thing is when you when you use a credit card, look at the rewards. So like my Chase Sapphire is amazing if you're a traveler, okay? So if you use, they have like this thing like if you use 4,000 dollars on your chase sapphire card in three months you automatically get like 64,000 points okay in addition to that if you're constantly using that chase sapphire card you're getting points so the thing is you racking up points can pay for travel does that make sense so like my friend wants to go to bali later on this year she said she's gonna pay for the the the, the stay i just gotta wrap up my airfare so you already know I'm about to use my Chase Sapphire card to pay for airfare, and I'm probably gonna be able to fly first class just off my points. So one thing you can do is, like I said, if you have self-control, instead of using your debit card for everything, use your credit card for everything. Just pay off the statement balance because one, you're gonna get reward, you're gonna get cash back. So a lot of different credit cards you get cash back when you um, make certain purchases, but you also get the reward points. So at the same time, not only are you gaining money, but you're also gaining reward points that will allow you to travel. So that trip that you probably would have paid to, you know, you would have booked a flight with, you don't have to even use your own money for that because now the credit card is basically paying for it. So um, that's going to allow you to save. So that right there is helping me save. So um, another thing is just saving. What you want to do is really save um and i'll make a separate video for that however things like acorns helps me save 
automatic um, deposits into my savings account helps me save using coupons uh, downloading different apps I've, I've noticed like a lot of these apps they they have a lot of uh, rewards um, even Walgreens I went to Walgreens recently they're like hey you got like $5 you want to use it oh yeah for sure use this five dollars for this um it's some other little hustles that i'll share and like i said in a separate video um let me just make sure that i'm not missing anything so i talked about paying off your statement balances every single month start off with that i talked about saving authorized users the increase in the credit limit using your credit card instead of your debit card now don't get too crazy with it i'll say that and um yeah taking out multiple cars even if that ain't you want to start off small let's say a little ultra car then cool now number one thing you don't want to do is close out a card remember when i talked about your line of credit so let's say you have currently thirty thousand dollars with all of your cards for a line of credit let's say one of your cards has a line of credit of five thousand if you was to eliminate that car if you were if you were to close that car out that means now your line of credit is twenty five thousand, and that means that your 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 usage versus your line of credit is going to go up and now it's gonna look like that's gonna make your credit score go even down more so um yeah and honestly once i got into 798 i knew you could i i knew i got into a good credit score but you know what these credit card companies were emailing me not emailing yeah they were emailing me sending me hey i think you're pre you're, you're pre-approved chase was sending me stuff like oh you're pre-approved for this card they were um capital one was telling me i could upgrade without doing this and this and that um to making my credit cards a, re, a, re, a rewards point um but yeah in addition to that though when it comes to authorized user make sure you're not using just anybody don't make don't make sure you're not using your friend who's irresponsible make sure you're using maybe like an auntie or just somebody that's maybe older that you know is very financially responsible so that you're not on somebody's credit card and they're bringing down because they could bring down your credit too so if this person is delinquent and not paying off their stuff or they have a high amount of usage Maybe your credit score is going to go down too. So you want to just use someone who has a good, um, I guess a good handle on paying back their cards and not using all of their stuff. Also, know what credit cards do certain things. Because like I said, we travel a lot. TSA, TSA, PreCheck and like global um global entry that's covered under american express uh what is the card i can't think of it i can't think of it right now when i find it i'll let you know but also the chase sapphire reserve they also pay for that i have the preferred though um which i actually like i'm going my preferred card but yeah those are just some ways that I was able to increase my credit score. Oh, one last thing. Everybody don't, don't, doesn't, doesn't start on the same um, place. So I understand if you, oh, in December, my credit score was 666. The credit wise, I think now it was like at 750, 758. So that gives you a little bit of perspective because I know I didn't know what my FICO score was as exactly, but like the credit score was like at 666 and now it's like at 750, 750, 758. But like my FICO was always like in the low 700s and now it's at 798. But um, some people, they are like at 400, 500 and they're living from paycheck to paycheck. So you're trying to figure out how do I save, like how do I do this and this and that. And that's another thing, like I said, you might want to use your credit card instead of your debit card to pay it all off. You want to use different techniques um, as far as saving, using coupons, uh, using the Walmart brand instead of the name brands, um, meal prepping instead of eating out, going to Aldi. I don't know if y'all have Aldi everywhere, whoever's watching this video, but just go on some more low budget quality 
grocery stores instead of maybe going to the more expensive places downloading these gas station apps so you can get some you know coins taken off per gallon uh, yeah but like I said I'm gonna make a savings video but I also wanted to acknowledge that everybody doesn't come from the same um, I guess we don't we don't all start the thing you might have some things that are in your name which is another thing you, you're gonna have to go and dispute those if you have uh, somebody that was using your credit or um, if you have bills that were disputable you need to go and dispute them send a, send a letter out to these credit card companies um, if you are in collections don't start paying it unless you're gonna pay it all off once you start paying it uh, it's like you're kind of committed like it, I don't want to get into the, to the nitty-gritty of that part but just know sometimes it's better instead of paying off collections sometimes it's better to just let it fizzle out until the seven years is up because when I moved into my town home in college I definitely have some things in my name that was over seven years ago and that's not on my credit anymore only thing I really have to worry about right now is just my school my, my, my uh, school loans other than that I'm pretty good but yeah that officially concludes my video thank you for watching bye bye